happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. Now, there's this show that I've watched. This show that I've watched yesterday. And I would have done it yesterday, but, you know, when you have work, school, and everything, it's kind of hard to juggle all of it. But it's not going to stop me from doing videos. So I thank you guys for supporting me and doing these videos on a regular basis. Now, there's something I need to discuss. Monster Misune, Rosaria Vampire. Actually, actually I am. They all have one thing in common. And not just the fan service. But there's one thing in common with them. It's school. Well, Monster Misune don't have school. But Monster Girls. Now... Monster Girls are an essential to us all, okay? We all have wonderful, unique tastes in Monster Girls. For instance, my taste in Rosario Vampire, I mean, I like Misery, the Snow Fairy, and I don't, you know, and I know some of y'all Mocha fans, or Kumi, or Yukari, okay, me, and when it comes to Monster Misune, I like Centaura, and I know some of y'all are Mia, Rachnia, Pappy, etc. And that's how I am. But what happens when they take Actually I Am, Monster Misune, Rosario Vampire, put those three together, you mix it up, and you got a show called Interview with Monster Girls. Now, since June, June 30th of 2016, I've read this, I've read this manga. And this is so, and this, and, and I asked myself, you know, what a, what a manga like this, it needs to be an anime. Well, guess what? It is. So in this first impression interview of this, I like to say this show was without out the greatest. It's like, it's like Monster Misune, Rosario Vampire, and that channel. It's like, with those mix of three, it's like, take those shows, minus the fan service, minus the harem, but keep the comedy, the fantasy, and the school intact. Just keep those intact. Just keep it. And I gotta say, it is the greatest show ever between it is the greatest show ever i mean it is so i'm gonna put this up in an example right now put in episode one because i gotta say when i first saw this episode i fell in love they actually kept up with the manga right now like it's just legit and you can hear his kiss anime so get that a lot and this is just not big of a deal it's just that when i tap in the opening look, the opening is so beautiful matter of fact and i gotta put this out shout out the teacher, this is, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I hear the teacher look like Saiga from, what's that show called? I know this. I know this show. You guys might know if I remember it. Ah, oh, God, he doesn't remind me of Saiga. It's, uh, it's that show, the guy with the camera and the explosive. I, how would I know I know this show and I know it in my head? I'm sorry, guys. God damn it. But yeah, interview with Monster Girls. Now, as I look at the opening carefully, guys, I love the opening, again. Looking at this vampire girl, <laughs> it's like Mocha is mature now. Looking at her, she's just so mature with that little thing, little bangs on her head. So cute. And let me say something. When I first saw her, I'm like, this is so, is she gonna be a pervert like Mocha? Uh uh. Now, that's one thing. Next next girl is Dorahan. Yes, I know Lala from Monster May Soon. Everyone push that aside and introduce a new girl. And this Dora Lana is so beautiful. I can't even like, not like, in a, but she's so nice. And then I with a talking head. Talk, it's so nice. I, I, I like this. I like her. I really do like her. I'm not going to lie. And then you got the snow woman. Yes, the snow woman who cries well, I can't spoil it. I mean, if I spoil it, you guys probably be mad about mad me about it. But for her, she, when she cries, tears is just ice, you know. And she's a snow person, so we all know what a snow is like. Misery. And then you got the succubus, who's the thing about her is that she's a math teacher and she's a succubus. So you're thinking about oh, oh, Rosario Vampire. We got a math teacher. I got a math teacher in Rosario Vampire who seduced guys. You know, one with the glasses or brown hair. That yeah, if guys, if you guys. Watch Rosario Vampire, or if you guys haven't, please watch it and compare this with this. You tell me what you think. Of course, she's a succubus, but this, yeah. But she only wears like those tight little math jumpsuits you guys see on the regular basis. But you guys can't lie. Look at this opening, it's so beautiful. It's like they took out all the fan service and all the harem out of the edginess, out of all the Monster Mansunes. Out of all the thing in Rosario Vampire, and that's it, and pack it into this. 
it is so nice. And they showed his sister. Like I love how the in this first episode, I love how they showed their sister. They show the vampire sister who is human, and they're twins. Twins. So you're thinking to yourself, oh, twins? That means they're both vampires. But no. But if you guys are familiar with the story, and I forgot to act, I forgot to tell you this, but I'm gonna put it. Basically, you know, overall, it's about a biology teacher who's into demis, you know? Who's who who doesn't like a guy who who doesn't like to have a friend or know anything about demis? I'm sure I do. But in this, in this, he's literally into it. So it, it's not a big deal. It's like it's like it's like if you want to date a monster girl, you want to sit down with that person to learn more about them. So maybe one day you could date one. That's what the whole thing about interviews with monster interview with monster girls. You want to know about them. Now hold on, I'm gonna go back. He could yeah. Okay, now I like this vampire girl, I really do. But the first, she's just adorable. She's like a little sister you gotta have. I'm sorry. And the interviews are so funny when it comes to know about, the, you know, a vampire. Okay, guys, let's get one thing straight. Anybody who wants to date a vampire, raise your hand. Now, let's be real. Would you want to date a vampire who wants to suck blood on you on a regular basis? I mean, just ask Skune and Mocha. Yes, I'm going to keep bringing up Rosario Vampire because she's a vampire. But, yeah, you could say that. But as I watch this episode, as I prolong skipping a few, I got to say, first episode... GG, man, you you did a hell of a good job. I can't even argue with that. You guys did a good, good job. I can't even argue with that. But I can't wait for episode two. And episode two is going to be great. See, a show like this is so decent. This should be like the best show of this year so far. One of the best shows of the year so far. I mean, I know we got other shows coming up, like Attack on Titan too. I know we got other shows coming up, but like Blue Axe and Sissy's and two. But this show is great. If you guys want to know about Monster Girls, watch, read the manga, Interview with Monster Girls. You guys will love it. You guys will love it. And the ending of this show, I really enjoyed it as well because I had... It had like the little crayon on the side doing like a piano thing and it was so nice. It's, it's really comedy as fast. It was funny. I love it. It had a little fan service with the vampire trying to seduce the snow, snow woman. But yeah, it was great. I loved it. So, as you, you guys hear it, I'm actually watching it. But yeah. Oh, but other than that, it was a great episode. I love it. I'm sure you guys would too, but it is comedy at its finest. And it teaches you more about Monster Girls, basically, overall. So the first episode was basically biology teacher, knowing Monster Girls. Let's talk about, let's meet a vampire, know about vampires. And if you guys want to date vampires, this is the episode for you. So that's it for now. So tune in next week for episode two of Interviews with Monster Girls. And remember, if you guys want to date Demi's, Know them first before you have sex with them.